A very warm good morning to all. Uh, my name is Joel Matthew from S7 EC, guided by Assistant Professor Sri Shpia Sab, and I am very delighted to welcome you all to my seminar presentation entitled Intelligent Convergence Exploring AI's Impact in IoT Device. Moving on to content page. These are the contents that we are going to discuss in the following slides. Moving on. Imagine a world where everyday objects not only communicate with us but also possess the intelligence to understand and adapt to our needs. So, today we are going to explore how AI and IoT reshape the way we live, work and connect. Intelligent convergence is the integration of multiple technologies such as artificial intelligence and the Internet of Things to create more efficient and interconnected systems. AOT's goal is to create more efficient IoT operations, improve human machine interaction, and enhance data management analytics. Moving on. So, now let's discuss some basics about IoT and AI. Internet of Things is all about connecting everyday devices to Internet. Talking about the history of IoT, in 1989, the first ever IoT device was created in Carnegie Mellon University. Uh, where a Coke machine was connected to internet. In 1993, the first ever online webcam is used as Cambridge. Then in 1999, the term Internet of Things was coined by a computer scientist, Kevin Ashton. While working at Procter & Gamble, Ashton proposed putting radio frequency identification chips on products to track them through the supply chain. Now talking about artificial intelligence, or AI, refers to the ability of machines to perform tasks that would normally require human intelligence to complete. This include things like recognizing speech, making decisions, and even learning from experience. Artificial intelligence has been an area of research since 1950s. However, it wasn't until 1980s that AI began to be used in practical applications such as speech recognition and robotics. Here, a brief history of artificial intelligence is given. Due to our time-limited constraints, I will be explaining only few. In 1950, Turing publishes Computing Machinery and Intelligence, proposing the Turing test as a way to measure a machine's ability. In 1965, Vesipam develops ELISA, a natural language processing program that simulates conversation. In 1980, expert systems gain popularity with companies using them for financial forecasting and medical diagnosis. In 2002, iRobot introduced Roomba. The first mass produced domestic robot vacuum cleaner with an AI powered navigation system. In 2014, Facebook created DeepFace, a facial recognition system that can recognize faces with real human accuracy. 2017, Google's Alpha Zero defeats the world best chess and shogi engines in a series of matches. 2020, OpenAI released GPT 3, marking a significant breakthrough in natural language processing. In 2023, artists filed case action lawsuit against Stability A, Divine Ed, and Mid Journey for their use of stable diffusion to remix the copyrighted works of millions of artists. Now moving on to AI and IoT. Artificial intelligence unlocks the true potential of IoT by enabling networks and devices to learn from past decisions, predict future activity and continuously improve performance and decision-making cap capabilities. Every day, IoT devices generate around 1 billion gigabytes of data. By 2025, the production of IoT connected device is globally 42 billion. As in networks grow, the data does too. IoT is all about enhancing human experience, making our world smarter, safer and more efficient. IoT has a wide range of benefits for our organizations and offers a powerful solution to intelligent automation. Next, a question will be arise. Why IoT? There are four main reasons why IoT should be used. That include, first one include our downtime. Many industries are hampered by downtime such as oil and gas industry. To prevent that, IoT can predict equipment failures in advance and schedule maintenance before equipment experiment service comes in. Next, increasing operational efficiency. AI processes the huge volume of data coming into IoT devices and detects the underlying patterns much more efficiently than human. Next, enabling new and improved products and services. Natural language processing is constantly improving and allowing devices and humans to communicate more efficiently. IoT can enhance 
new or n, n existing products and services better data precision and management next improve risk management AI with IoT can use data to predict risk and prioritize the ideal response, improving the employee safety, mitigating cyber threats, and minimizing financial losses. Moving on, uh, we have how does IoT work? There are mainly five steps that include uh, the basic working of IoT that include data collection, data transference, data processing, data projection, and data execution. The first one data collection. Here, uh, the, here the electronics play a major role. The first step includes the collection of data by devices. The data is gathered with the help of sensors and the devices to collect multiple set of data. Next, we have data transfers. Data was once collected is stored in its respective sets usually, the cloud or gateway closer to IoT devices. Next, we have data processing. At the destination, cloud or edge, data is received and processed by the AI algorithms or applications. Next, we have data projection. The data process is communicated through different networks, it is aggregated and analyzed into actionable information, it is the execution of information, this is the user interface that helps the user to know uh, how the information is used. Let us take a particular example of LIDAR sensor to understand how AOT works. Uh, the basic working of LIDAR sensor is such that it emits laser pulses or beams in multiple directions, capturing the 3D spatial information about its surroundings. Data fusion. Data data is often integrated with data from other IoT sensors such as cameras, temperature sensors, or motion detectors to provide comprehensive and environmental context. Next, we have data transmission in LIDAR sensor. It mainly involves three steps that is, data encoding, communication, and IoT protocols. Data encoding. LIDAR data is typically encoded into digital format, often as a point cloud containing spatial coordinates and additional attributes. Communication. The encoded data is transmitted to an IoT gateway or its device through a wired or wireless connection ensuring low latency data transfer. And IoT protocols, IoT specific communication protocols such as MQTT, message queue and telemetry transport and COAP, constrained application protocol may be used for efficient data transmission in IoT application. Next we have data storage. There are mainly three storage, local storage, cloud storage and edge computing storage. IoT edge devices or gateways may have local storage capacity temporarily store LIDAR data before processing. In IoT system, data can be sent to the cloud for storage where it is surely stored and made accessible for analysis. Edge computing, some IoT applications process LIDAR data locally at the edge to minimize latency and reduce reliance and clouds. Next, you have data processing. Pre-processing, all LIDAR data often undergoes pre-processing to remove noise, outliers and errors, ensuring high quality data for analysis. Feature extraction, algorithms extract relevant features from LIDAR Point clouds such as object boundaries, shapes, and distances. Machine learning, advanced AI and machine learning models analyze data, data identifying patterns, objects, and anomalies. Real time analytics, IoT application may perform real time analytics on LIDA data, data, enabling instant response to changing conditions. Moving on, next we will have uh, two major types of IoT cloud based IoT and edge based IoT. Cloud based IoT commonly refers to as IoT cloud. Cloud-based IoT is the management and processing of data from IoT devices using cloud computing platform. Connecting IoT devices to the cloud is essential since that's where data is stored, processed and accessed by various applications and services. There are mainly four layers in cloud-based IoT that include device layer, cloud layer, connectivity layer and user communication layer. Device layer, uh, these include several types of hardware including tags, beacons, Sensors, cars, production equipment, embedded devices, and health and fitness equipment. Next, we have connectivity layer. This layer comprises fields and cloud gateway consisting of hardware or software element that links cloud storage to controllers, sensors, and other intelligent devices. Cloud layer. This consists of data processing in via an AI engine, data storage, data visualization, and links and data access via an uh, API. Next, user communication layer. This layer is made up of web portals and mobile applications. Second one is edge based AOT. AOT data can be also processed at, processed at the edge, meaning the data from IoT device is processed as close to this device as possible to minimize the bandwidth needed to move data while avoiding possible delays to data analysis. The major device, major difference from cloud based AOT is such that it, it have only three layers that is connection, collection terminal layer, connection to the gateway is established over existing power lines and edge layer.
This AOT consists of following three layers. Collection terminal layer. This covers a range of hardware devices such as embedded devices, cars, manufacturing equipment, stacks, beacon sensors, mobility devices, and health and fitness equipment that are connected to the gateway over existing power lines. Next, we have connectivity layer. This consists of field gateways that collection terminal is connected to over existing power lines. Next, we have edge layer. This layer includes facilities for data storage, data processing, insight, and generation. So let's discuss how to implement A in LD. <coughs> the first step is identify use cases. Now let us take a particular example of agriculture assent cases. The next step is data collection and sensor integration. Install environmental sensors in agricultural fields to collect data on soil moisture, temperature, humidity, and crop health integrate these two IoT devices. Next we have data pre-processing. Pre-processing the collected data to remove outlines and normalize values. For example, filter out extreme temperature readings and ensure consistent units for data consistency. Next, we have connectivity and communication. Establish robust communication device, robust connectivity such as LoRaWAN or cellular network to transmit data from agricultural IoT devices to control unit to form management platform where AI algorithm will operate. Next, we have Edge or Cloud AI. Use Edge AI for real-time tasks like identifying plant diseases directly and Cloud for more complex analysis such as long term crop field prediction and pest control planning. Next, we have select AI algorithms. Choose suitable AI algorithm. For instance, use computer vision algorithm to identify crop diseases from image. Next, training AI models. Train AI model using historical agricultural data. Next, we have deployment. Cloud, uh, there are many two types of deployment cloud based deployment and edge based deployment. Cloud deployment. For more in depth, tasks like predicting crop fields. Place AI models in the cloud and edge deployment. Deploy ADM models for disease detection directly in IoT devices equipped with camera place in fields. Then monitoring and maintenance. It includes normal maintenance of the devices. Now we have various layers used in IoT. First one is perception layer. It includes sensors, WSN, physical objects, etc. Next we have network layer. It includes gateway, routers, Bluetooth, etc. Next we have processing layer. It includes storing, analyzing, and processing. Next, we have application layer. Application and system software software are present in application layer. Then we have service management layer. Service provides management, etc. are present in this particular. We will be discussing about different AI algorithms for IoT. The first one is machine learning algorithm. These algorithms allow IoT devices to learn from data and make predictions or decisions without explicit programming. Common machine learning algorithms include supervised and unsupervised. Uh, for example, smart thermostats use machine learning algorithms to learn users' heating and cooling preference and adjust the temperature accordingly. Next, we have deep learning algorithms. A subset of machine learning, deep learning algorithms, particularly neural networks, are used for complex tasks, tasks like image and speak recognition in IoT devices. Smart traffic system that can identify and track vehicles in images from traffic camera use deep learning algorithms. Next, we have recommendation algorithms, IoT devices that personalize user experience such as smart home devices or content recommendations may use recommendation algorithms based on user behavior and preference. Smart wearable devices can use recommendation algorithms to suggest personalized fitness and health goals. Next, we have fuzzy logic. Fuzzy logic algorithms are used in IoT devices for systems that require handling precise or uncertain data such as smart thermostat for temperature control. Fuzzy logic can be used to control temperature in a home, the speed of motor or brightness of a light. Next, we have computer vision algorithm. Computer vision algorithm can be used to process and understand images and videos. Computer vision algorithms are often used for tasks such as object detection and tracking. Industrial robots use computer vision algorithms to detect and track objects in their environment. Next, we have natural language processing. IoT devices with voice interfaces or chatbots may use NLP algorithms to understand and respond to human language. Smart, speaker, smart speakers use NLP algorithms to understand natural language and commands and respond accordingly. Next, we have reinforcement learning. Some IoT applications, especially robotics and autonomous systems, employ reinforcement learning to make real-time decisions based on changing environment. A smart thermostat can use Reinforcement learning to learn to control the temperature in a home in a way 
that minimizes the energy consumption and maximizes user comfort. Next, we have applications of IoT. First one is smart cities. Um, smart technology such as sensors, lights, and meters is used to collect data to help improve the operational efficiency, drive economic growth, and improve the quality of life of residents. Smart is smart retail, cashless stores, etc. etc. are installed nowadays. Next was smart home. Smart devices learn through human interactions and reactions. Next is enterprise and industry. Manufacturers use smart chips to detect when a device is in working properly or a part needs to be replaced. Then another application includes social media and human resources. Self-driving car, it is one of the major applications of AOT. Uh, we can take particular examples such as Tesla. Then automated delivery robots and healthcare, medical and wearable devices collect and monitor real-time data such as heart rate and can clear irregular heartbeats. Now let us take some case studies. The first one is Tesla car. AOT is one of the major application includes self-driving cars. Now let us understand how electronics play a major role in these self-driving cars. Uh, in Tesla cars, the major electronic components include uh, first one is camera. Tesla's vehicles are equipped with multiple multiple cameras, including front camera located near the rear view mirror, it provides a forward view. Rear camera positioned on the rear trunk of hatch, it assists with parking and reversing. Next, we have side cameras mounted, mounted on the side mirrors. These captures views of adjacent lanes. Next, we have B pillar cameras. Some models have additional cameras on B pillars for enhanced visibility. Rear view camera is for rear view mirror display and reversing. Next electronic device is radar. The Tesla utilizes a forward facing radar sensor known as forward radar. This radar sensor provides crucial data for adaptive cruise control and collision avoidance features. Ultrasonic sensors. Ultrasonic sensors are placed around vehicles and include front electronic sensors located in the front bumper for detecting obstacles during parking and low speed maneuvers. Rear ultrasonics positioned in the rear bumper for parking assistance. Side ultrasonics, these sensors provide additional awareness for objects near the sides of vehicles. Additional sensors, Tesla's vehicles also incorporate GPS, global positioning system for precise location and information. AMU, initial measurement unit containing accelerometers and gyroscopes to track cars' movement and so This takes uh, London City Airport as a case study. The first one is passenger tracking, the LCAY uses a system called passenger pro analytics to track the movement of passengers through the airport. Various type of sensors such as infrared sensors, motion detectors, and proximity sensors are strategically placed throughout the airport to monitor passenger movements. Cameras. Surveillance cameras are equipped with computer vision technology are commonly used to capture video of footage of passenger flow. Next, we have baggage handling. Uh, LCY is a system called Bag IT to track the movement of baggage through the airport. RFID tags. RFID tags are attached to each piece of luggage. These tags contain unique identification information that can be read wirelessly by RFID readers through the luggage handling process. Next, security. LCY uses a system called Eagle I to detect potential security threats. Uh, the major electronic components include uh, cameras and sensors. Sensors include radar sensors. These sensors can detect objects at a long distance in all weather conditions. Radar sensors, these sensors can create a 3D map of the environment, which can be useful for identifying tracking objects. Ultrasonic sensors, these sensors can detect objects at long distance. Cameras include high resolution cameras, low light cameras, and thermal cameras. Next, we have air traffic control. LCY uses a system called LCY Sky to help air traffic controllers manage the flow of aircraft in and out of the airport. It uses various kinds of sensors and communication devices to transfer data from the sensor to the cloud, including Wi Fi, cellular, and satellite communication. In energy management, LCY uses a system called EcoStructure to manage the airport's energy consumption. It includes the working of various sensors, controllers, and actuators. Let's discuss about some challenges and considerations of IoT. First one is data overload. IoT generates a huge amount of data, thus, the data gets overloaded, then, privacy concerns. A lot of a lot of data about user, including personal data, is involved in this process. Then security risks, risks which involves unauthorized access and misuse of the data. <clears throat> then interoperability, lack of standardizations and complexity causes interoperability. Then latency issues, scalability. It is difficult to design and build a IoT system that can handle large number of devices and users. An ethical dilemma, regulatory compliance, user access. Acceptance, maintenance, and activities. We will be discussing about emerging trends in IoT. The first one is edge computing. 
it processes data nearing source, reducing latency improving efficiency and minimizing network congestion compared to centralized cloud servers. In swarm intelligence, decentralized self-organized system inspired by natural swarms, sample bees or ants for optimizing IoT device operations. In 5G technology, one of the bigger possible innovation of IoT is inclusion of 5G. In operational efficiency, IoT could help solve existing operation operational problems such as expense associated with effective human capital management or complexity of supply chains and delivery models. Yeah, vision A, rapid real-time object detection and behavior prediction with the dedicated AI processes for deep with situational comprehension. Next, voice A, speech recognition and voice assistant is just the early stage for AI. The future will enable much more complex voice AI applications such as natural language processing and real-time language translation. Now let's discuss about benefits of AOT. It includes enhanced automation, data-driven insight, predictive maintenance, improve user experience, energy efficiency, cost reduction, enhanced safety, innovation catalyst, competitive advantage, environmental impact, healthcare resolution. Now in closing, the convergence of artificial intelligence and Internet of Things, known as AOT, is not just technological trend but a transformative force that is reshaping industries, improving life, and propelling us in the future of unprecedented possibilities. Remember, IoT is just not about machines and algorithms. It's about human experience, making our world smarter, safer, and more efficient. It's about harnessing the power of data to solve complex problems and drive positive charges. These are the references which I refer. Thank you all.